Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I want to introduce you to a challenge that is taking place for the whole month of October. And we are a few days in, five days in, but it's not too late to start. The contest is called Inktober and it was started, I think, by someone named Jake Parker. And what it is, is every day of October, you're going to make a drawing in ink and post it online. This is not a sponsored video. I just, I thought this would be a great challenge for the people on my channel because you definitely are going to improve as you draw every day because how do you get better at anything really is just by doing it. And so I'd like to introduce this challenge to you and I hope that you'll take me up on this challenge and start right now. So we're on day five, but don't worry. I think if you're short a few days, you're definitely still going to improve your art skills. So every day you're going to make a drawing in ink, post it online with a hashtag Inktober and Inktober 2017. You can go to mrjakeparker.com or I think there's even a website inktober.com. If you have a hard time coming up with something to do, there's daily prompts of some topics. Long is the prompt for today and that's why I made this long shadow and wrote part of this poem that I'm going to read by Edgar Allan Poe in it. If you want something that's going to increase your drawing skills and your art skills, this definitely is something that will. So this raven that I drew in ink, I'm going to be posting a step-by-step -step tutorial on it next week. But since it is a raven and it's Halloween time, I'm going to just show you a speed drawing version and I'm going to read The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. So now just sit back and relax and listen to The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow, from my book surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, nameless here for evermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with a fantastic terrors, never felt before, so that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, "'Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This it is, and nothing more. Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. "'Sir,' said I, or madam, truly your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is, I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping tapping at my chamber door, that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door, darkness there and nothing more. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was broken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Lenore? This I whispered, and an echo murmured back at the word, Lenore? Merely this, and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning. Soon again I heard a tapping somewhere louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see then, what thereat it is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind, and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter, one with many a flirt and flutter in there stepped a stately raven of a saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but the mind of lord or lady perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat and nothing more. Then this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling. By the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore, through thy crest be shorn and shaven thou, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore, tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonian shore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Much I marveled this ungainly fowl to hear discourse so plainly, though its answer little meaning, little relevancy bore. For we cannot help agreeing that no living human being 
ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door. Bird or beast upon the sculptured bust above his chamber door with such a name as nevermore. But the raven sitting lonely on the placid bust spoke only that one word as if his soul in that one word he did outpour. Nothing farther than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have flown before, on the morrow he will leave me as my hopes have flown before. Then the bird said, nevermore. Startled at the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken, doubtless, said I, what it utters is only stock and store, caught from some unhappy master whom unmerciful disaster followed fast and followed faster till his song one burden bore till the dirges of his hope that melancholy burden bore of never never more but the raven still beguiling all my fancy into smiling straight i wheeled a cushioned seat in front of the bird and bust and door then upon the velvet sinking i betook myself to linking fancy unto fancy thinking what this ominous bird of yore what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of yore meant in croaking, nevermore. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining on the cushion's velvet lining, but whose velvet violet lining with the lamplight gloating o'er, she shall press, ah, nevermore. Then methought the air grew denser, perfumed from some unseen censer, swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tuft floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God hath lent thee, by these angels he hath sent thee, respite, respite, and nepenthe from the memories of Lenore. Quaif, oh quaif this kind nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet! said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, whether tempter sent, or whether tempest tossed thee here ashore, desolate yet all undaunted, on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there balm in Gilead, tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, by that heaven that bends above us, by that God we both adore, tell this soul with sorrow laden, if within the distant Aden it shall clasp a sainted maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked, upstarting. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak out of my heart and take thy form from off of my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. And the raven never flitting still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming and the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And from my soul out that shadow that flies floating on the floor shall be lifted never more. Thank you so much for listening to The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe, read by McCall from Mr. Otter Studio. I hope you enjoy this month of October. Next week, I will be posting a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to draw this raven and how to ink it in. And good luck with the Inktober challenge. Have a great day.